This is my dog Hummer, and he's a Daxi Basset Hound Cross. And uh, as you can see, we take him for walks. And if you're looking for a pair of sunglasses, a Bluetooth headset, as well as microphone, for you to listen to your music while you're going for walks, as well as hear the sounds around you, uh, these are the ones for you. And these are the Ghost Tech Bluetooth wireless headset and microphone that I'm gonna be talking about today. Before I do my review of the Ghost Tech Bluetooth sunglasses, I do want to make you aware that Ghost Tech did reach out to me and provided these Ghost Tech Bluetooth sunglasses for me to review um, in exchange for a video review. However, all opinions expressed in this video are my own. So both the good and the bad. So as you're watching the video and find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for similar content. Here is the Ghost Tech Shades sunglasses. Uh, shades, and then if I look here on the back here, it says uh, Bluetooth 5.1, talk time about 3.5 hours at 100% volume, music time about 5 hours at 70% volume, up to 120 hours at standby time, and approximately 44. So let's open this up. All right, so it comes in a uh, carrying case. Sunglass carrying case. Um, feels actually pretty sturdy. Feels pretty tough. Let me open it up. Here is the sunglasses. And then we give out prizes to lucky posts, just telling you when to post it. Thank you a thousand times more. Thank you for really means the world to a small business. And then instructions if you need a QR code. Comes with a USB A to its proprietary magnet power charger, as well as. Uh, this is your nose pads. Oh, nice. It comes with different nose pads that you can replace depending on your nose. And, and then comes with our microfiber ghost tech cleaning cloth. I've been using these Bluetooth sunglasses for two weeks now. And coincidentally enough, good or bad, I've actually been pretty sick the last two and a half weeks and I've been working from home. Uh, which is good where it allows me to walk my dog three times a day. So I do a 15 minute walk in the morning, uh, about a 15 minute walk at noon, and then 15 minute walk in the break um, during the work day. And so I've been able to take my dog for about an hour walk since I've been working from home, which has been great for my own uh, health and also great for my dog so he's not bored just sitting by my feet all day. And I've been wearing these sunglasses each time I take them off for a walk. One of the benefits of living on the prairies is you get a lot of sun during the winter. And having sunglasses is really important, especially when there's lots of snow on the ground and the sun is reflecting off the snow and kind of the glare into your eyes and sunglasses are really important. And so I've been wearing these uh, when I've been taking my dog Hummer for a walk. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the sound quality. And the speakers are actually located uh, right here on other other side of the ears. And I have to say, they sound actually pretty decent. Um, I'm a 90s kind of a music kind of guy. I know I'm a bit dated, but I like the rock alternative, pop, as well as some of the rap and hip hop from back then. And I listened to that during my walk. And um, it sounds pretty decent. You can still make out the vocals really well. Um, the bass is not as good, but in terms of the mids, it sounds pretty decent. The only thing is if you actually crank the volume really high, then the sound obviously starts getting very tinny because these speakers can't handle it. However, another neat thing about the sound quality about this is I don't have to turn it very high for me to be able to hear the music uh, and also hear what's, it doesn't drown out the ambient noise around me. Especially when I'm walking my dog, I share the road with cars. I don't have any sidewalks in, in where I live. And it's really important that I be able to hear what's happening around me all the time, especially when cars are coming behind me. I want to be able to hear them coming. And uh, having these speakers on the outside allows my ears to listen to what's going on around me. And that's really important for road safety. And there's been about once or twice where a car kind of snuck up on me 
and uh, I was able to hear them coming. And I don't think I would have heard them if I had my noise cancelling headphones uh, in my ear. Another neat thing about the speakers is no one else can hear what's what my music is playing from. That was my main concern is I don't want to be sitting on a bus or I don't want to be out in public where I'm listening to something and other people can listen to what I'm hearing as well. And so I did a test where I put it on a setting where I felt comfortable listening to it. It was loud enough for me to hear. And I asked my son who was sitting right across from me and right beside me if he could hear it and he, he couldn't hear it. Well, mind you, he's a teenager, he probably doesn't hear half the things I say, but um, I asked him specifically this time if he heard the music and he said he, he couldn't hear the music. So. Uh, that was really neat for me. So I feel comfortable wearing these out in public and for me to listen to some podcasts because I listen to some podcasts or talk about murder and killing and all that. And I don't know if I want other people to hear it. And it's good to know that I can listen to them and not have someone else kind of eavesdrop about what I'm hearing as well. Hi, Prager. This is, is kind of a cool look. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my setup, my overall impressions and why if you're someone like myself that has three different multiple devices, I have an iPad, a Galaxy Fold 4. And it doesn't really do it justice when I'm using this microphone against a speaker, but when it's right up against the ear, it is, um, it sounds pretty good. The second thing I wanted to talk about was the fit and the comfort of wearing sunglasses. Um, for myself, I wore many different kinds of sunglasses and especially the wraparound ones where they kind of clamp onto your head after a while, um, especially when I play sport. Um, I usually have to half an hour, it pinches the side of my head and feels very uncomfortable. Uh, and I actually have to take them off or if I wear them all day, I get a headache because they're just cinching against my head here. And the good news about these is the longest I've worn them in one sitting or walking is about an hour and a half when I was shoveling and snow blowing and doing some stuff outside. And I have to say, it's around probably an hour and a half is when I started to feel a bit of the tension that's, that was uh, on the side of the temples here. But overall for the short 15, half an hour minute walks, uh, it felt very comfortable and I had no issues whatsoever. Another thing is, um, it, and I think it could depend on your, your head shape, but it didn't pinch. And as you can see, as I'm kind of going like this, it doesn't fall off or doesn't do this when I'm wiggling. And when I do this, it doesn't like jump up and down either. Um, so I actually did a run with these on the treadmill and um, they stayed on pretty comfortably. I didn't have any issues running with these um, with the treadmill. I didn't feel like it was jumping up and down or moving side to side, giving me motion sickness. The third thing I want to talk about was obviously the blocking of the sun and how well it does. Um, I'm really particular about my sunglasses. I have Polaroid uh, sunglasses and um, these aren't, anyways, these, the lenses I have here aren't the darkest I have. Um, so when it's super, super bright out, um, I, would, I would actually switch to my other ones that are polarized. And I don't believe these lenses are polarized. So something for you to think about when you're buying sunglasses, but in terms of normal everyday use of just blocking out the sun, especially while you're driving or going for a walk, it does work. So I'm gonna go outside now and do a quick test uh, connected to my Samsung Galaxy Fold 4 of how well the voice quality comes over if I was answering a phone call and talking to someone on the other side. I've connected my shades to the Samsung Galaxy Fold 4 using Bluetooth. And this is what the microphone sounds like coming from the shades. Uh, there's actually a bit of wind. You can hear some background noise from the traffic behind here. So I'm just curious to know how well the sound picks up from my voice using the built-in microphone. Comment below on what you think of the sound quality. Uh, overall, in terms of the mic quality, is it great? I would say no, but is it, can, is it good enough to pass if you're doing a casual conversation or having a meeting online? I would say yes, it's, it's fine. All right, so that concludes my video review of the Ghost Tech Bluetooth wireless headphone and microphone sunglasses. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. I will have a link to the Ghost Tech website that gives you a coupon code if you're interested in purchasing these sunglasses in the description below. So I do encourage you to check out their website for other products as well. All right, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.